three topics today. I want to start with some Big Ten basketball. Start with our roots. UMHoops.com and Inside the Hall, two of the best team-specific sites in this conference. Inside the Hall does Indiana. UM Hoops does Michigan. Uh, have collaborated for years on a list of the top 25 players in the Big Ten. They released this in the offseason every single season, uh, like basically around this time leading up to the season. So we got the first two lists. And I want to read 16 through 25 to you live on the show for the first time. You do not know these lists. And I want you to give me your honest reactions. Do you want the others considered? Because they also listed like guys who aren't going to make the list who are also considered. Or do you want me to just do 25 through 16 right now? Can I get the considered? Sure. Here's the other con- others considered. Julian Reese from Maryland. Patrick McCaffrey from Iowa. Malik Hall from Michigan State. Deshaun Harris-Smith from Maryland. Dante Scott from Maryland, Kellel Ware from Indiana, Chucky Hepburn from Wisconsin, and Scotty Middleton from Ohio State. Hmm. Okay. Any, I, I, any, I, I, any immediate pulls from that that you're like, how are they not on the list? I think Patrick McCaffrey is a top 25 player in the Big Ten. I was a little surprised DHS didn't get a nod. I think that's way too low. He's going to end up there. I, I, I assume that was because he's a freshman. That's the only – otherwise, he should be there. It's Wait, freshman. no. There's a freshman on the list. Oh, okay. I'm I'm also shocked Kalel Ware didn't make this. I know he, he didn't have a great year, but he's the only like first round pick lock in this conference. Well, it, in, inside the hall probably put him in like four and then the UMM hoops people put him way outside. So when they aggregated it, he was like at 27. Dylan does a pretty good job, not gonna lie. He, or not even pretty Dylan does a very good job. He's very good at uh everything he, he organized with that. Oh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, a subscriber. He's no you're not. He's an he's an objective I, person. I'm in there. No, you're not. I'm in there. No, you are not. How do you know I'm not? I know you're not. Okay. You would have known that when I said top 25 to 16, you would have known this. All right. Here's Keep your the, enemies close. Here's the list. 25, Malik Renault. 24, Doug McDaniel. 23, Tony Perkins. 22, Mackenzie Mbako. 21, Fletcher Lawyer. 20, Jameson Battle. 19, Bruce Thornton, 18, Jade Nakins, 17, Connor Asesian, 16, Xavier Johnson. Your thoughts, Carter Elliott, on 16 through 25 of the Big Ten's top 25 players. Okay, Xavier Johnson, way too high on this list. That's starters. Jay Nakins is better than Connor Asesian. Um. I'd rather have Deshaun Harris Smith than Tony Perkins. Uh, I know that. I know you probably uh, battle back against that because you're a big Tony Perkins believer, but Deshaun Harris Smith, I think, should be above Perkins. As much as we like to talk about Kiel Ware, like, I feel like you might have to put Kiel Ware above Mbako if you're putting it on this list. I would put, wait, so does that mean Mbako is better than Renault on this list? Yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> that doesn't fly with me either. Yeah, so they they stacked the order: Mbako the best, Renault second best, Kalalwer third best, and that this is inside the hall contributed to this list. So I just they got what was, what, what was the what was the overall consensus of this list once it was posted? Is it everyone's cooking it? Is it everyone's like okay? Like uh, so, sixteen through twenty just dropped this morning. Uh, 21 through 25 dropped yesterday and nobody really had much of a problem with it. I did comment because I'm active in the UM hoops community. And I, uh, my comment was basically, I can't believe Fletcher lawyers 21. Uh, I think I may be way too low on the just a shooter archetype, but for the record, Fletcher lawyer last season shot 37% from the floor, 33% from three. He was unplayable for the final month and a half of the year. Couldn't make a shot. The only redeemable thing he adds to the court right now is shooting, and he's not a, a great shooter. So, like, I, I'm buying Fletcher long term. I've said this, but if we're talking like, oh, it could be a Fletcher lawyer breakout year, how? Zach Eady's there. He's going to do all the scoring. Braden Smith's there. He's going to do all the facilitating. He's there's Kyle, nothing. Kyle, he's Kyle Guy. There's nothing new that Fletcher Lawyer is going to do this season. Give it four years, okay? Maybe in in three and four he'll do this, but he could be Kyle Kai for the record. Uh, I just I I think they went too high on the just a shooter archetype. Like Asijin at seventeen is too high, Lawyer at twenty one is too high. Peyton Sanford hasn't been named on this list yet, which means he's going to be in the top fifteen. 
which is too high. Um, you, th- you think he's for sure going to be in the top 15? Yeah, they would have put him in the others mentioned. If not, I he might crack the top 10, which is that's crazy, crazy to me. Uh, again, I, I'm high on Perkins because I think he – is good like in and Iowa first options are going to be good so maybe that's what they're going after with Sanford but like Perkins does more he's going to have the ball in his hands more I don't even know what an offense center around Sanford would look like he's just a shooter like are they running Rip Hamilton stuff for him 40 times a game <laughs> like I don't think that works he's a complimentary guy so uh and, but Xavier Johnson man I'm sorry Xavier I know you're going to hear this uh, Xavier uh, 16 for a guy who didn't crack 10 points a game in his good season at Indiana. And then last season had more turnovers than points in conference play. Shout out basketball Jones. Like, ah, it feels wrong. Right. Like, Uh like, isn't if we're going to bash Tony Perkins and everybody's like, how are you high on Tony Perkins? Like, wouldn't it be a fantastic year for Xavier Johnson to average Tony Perkins numbers? Like if Xavier Johnson finishes this year, 12 4 and 3 aren't we ecstatic with that but he has to he has to leap to do that why is he 10 spots higher on this list uh because he's 23 he's gonna be 24 the next time he steps on the court in an indiana uniform but he's off in it he's off a serious injury like yeah i mean i'm i'm with you i'm i'm hand in hand sleeper and sleeper in this comment i don't think xavier johnson should be in the i don't think he should be in the top 25 to be honest with you I think okay. he should he can earn himself a spot in the players to be mentioned, but I I just don't see him as a top 25 player in the Big Ten. Last thing I want to comment on on this, you think Doug deserves to be in the top 25? Uh I think I had him right around where he was when I did my list. And you could you could cycle him in or out. I wouldn't be upset. Um okay. I yeah, I think it, I I will I'll say this. I think they're gonna be too high on Kamala from what I've heard. Oh, it sounds numbers. like he's going to be top. He might be top five from what it sounded like. He won't. I don't think he'll be fifth, but I think he'll he, he'll probably be sixth, sixth or seventh. And I, when I did this list, I had Kamala like thirteenth. So, um, I don't know. I it it's interesting though, because like like Doug cracks the list, Chucky Hepburn doesn't, and to me, those guys are essentially the same guy right now. And I love Doug McDaniel. I think he could be more, but like Chucky's first year looked a lot like Doug's. And then it was like, oh, Chucky's going to have a breakout. And then he just didn't. So now everybody's written off Chucky because he didn't have the breakout. But now we're anticipating. Doug. Like, it, There's a lot of credit on these lists to anticipating things rather than what people have actually done. Yeah, I agree. But yeah, there's some there's some head scratchers in that one, to be honest with you. Did, also, can we, we, might we... Have to ha- we might have to have you release your top 25 list. I was going to say, maybe we should do a, a co list at some point. Are we... Uh... I don't want to just bash this because I think this is a hard exercise, especially this year. Well, that's the point. That's the point of making lists. You don't make lists to be like, hey, you know what? That's a flawless list. You did an amazing job. It's every, any list is getting bashed. What it's do you like about this list. list? What do you like about this list? Mm. I got one. I mean, can you go to 2025 one more time again? Because I think I, I I know who I want to say, but I just want to make sure. Uh, you want the the twenty five group or the twenty group? Uh, the twenty group. Jameson Battle twenty, Bruce Thornton nineteen, Jade Nakins eighteen, Connor Siegen seventeen, Xavier Johnson sixteen. I do like that Jameson Battle made an appearance in the twenty five. I think that's a great inclusion. I don't think a lot of people would include him in the twenty five. I think he deserves to be there. I'm gonna say I like the two Ohio State guys together here. I will be very curious to see if they put Zed Key on this list. Uh, they did not include Akpara. I think Akpara is better than Key, but I know Dylan's a big Zed Key guy. So if if Zed Key lands highest on this list, I think they're pretty high on Ohio State. One, to have three guys in the top 20. Uh, but two, I would not think Zed Key is Ohio State's best player. Do you like where Bruce Thornton is? I think he has to be there. It's like a prove it year. Like if you put Bruce Thornton much higher, it's kind of like, he hasn't done it yet, but mm. in the write-up, they did a good job with it. They're like, if there's one guy we expect to be higher on this list than where we put him, it's Bruce Thornton. So, yeah. last thing, Aikens was 18th. You kind of, you said he should be higher than a Siegen. I don't know that I necessarily agree with that. Where do you think Aikens should have been on this list? I think Aikens is a top 15 guy. Or, uh, I, okay, because, you know, it's it's a, I guess, prove it type situation. I think he should be somewhere, maybe like where Xavier Johnson is. 
15, okay. between 15 and 17. So that's just, that's one spot higher. That makes all the difference. Uh, it especially makes a difference when you're behind Connor Arcesian. Jaden Akins, like Xavier Johnson, has never scored 10 points a game in Big Ten. Is there anything Connor Arcesian does better than Jaden Akins? Yeah, I think. What? Huh? No, actually, no. There's <laughs> nothing I think. I was going to say shooting, but he's not a better shooter than Jay Nakins, is he? No. Free throw shooting? <laughs> no. Uh, maybe. Actually, I think a siege is like 90%. I want he's to say. a lot. He's 90% of free throw. Jay Nakins, shocking, only 66% from the line. Yeah, that was very shocking. Uh, Connor might have more shit to him than Jaden, right? I think he has shit to him because he's white. I, can you, by default, can you have shit to you if you keep agreeing to come back and be the third option out of position? I feel like by default, that means you don't have shit to you. Mm, makes, you makes you a team guy, but like, like shit to you is like, give me the ball, get out of the way. Well, you know, it's a little easier to have that when you look to your left and you see Steven Crowley, look to your right and you see a Wiz Khalifa patch. You're a big Tyler Wall guy. Don't forget Tyler Wall. All right, let's move on. Uh, they're gonna. I think they're releasing a new five every single day this week. So this probably won't be the last time we talk about it. But uh, I know we bashed that. Good work, Assembly Hall, and uh, or not Assembly Hall, inside the hall and UM hoops. Uh, it's a hard undertaking. We appreciate the work you guys do covering the conference. So we'll probably talk about it more and bash more lists later this week.